I'm just gonna cut to it. This is gonna be really weird for everyone. Uh, let me let me turn this loop down a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I, don't worry about the desktop. That's gonna that's gonna fix itself in a bit. Uh, <laughs> um, so if uh, my my hints were not explicit enough, um, no, actually, hi everyone. <laughs> hi Gleam. Hi F. Uh, welcome to the, the dumbest thing I think I've ever had myself do on stream. And by dumb, I mean, like, this is this is going to be a whole project. Uh, for today, I don't think I'm going to be doing this multiple weeks, because the, the moment will have passed. So anyway, if my hints have not been explicit enough, um, I, I did mention yesterday that the, uh, it is, it is something that people will recognize, and it is... It's, I don't know if I said it was historic, like history or like learning based. But that was my hint for yesterday. And I guess Mac is technically another hint. Um, we're going to be playing through all the Oregon Trail games backwards. Not all of them, I guess. So there's, there's a lot of different versions of, of them, but uh, we're going to be playing through all of them backwards. Uh, starting with um, Oregon Trail 5th edition. <laughs> Um, it was a struggle to get these to work. Uh, but I did get it to work. Um, we're going to get into that more after 5th edition. 5th edition was luckily made for, like, Windows XP. Uh, so I can get that to function through Windows 10, which is why my desktop's all fucked up in the back, because that's the resolution that it plays at. And then actually plays at a smaller resolution. <laughs> um... If no one is super familiar with Oregon Trail, um, it, it, it's been around since the 70s as a text-based thing, and then I think Apple II in 1985 got the most iconic version of Oregon Trail that everyone has played that is older than me. Um, however, I grew up with Oregon Trail 2, uh, which we had the CD for, like a physical CD of that game. Uh, and it was not great. Uh, it was better than the original, I think. No, maybe not some versions of the original. We're going to get to that. Uh, and then the learning company got a hold of it, which most people my age and a little older will be familiar with the learning company. They did Reader Rabbit, uh, Read, Write, and Type, um, Gizmos and Gadgets, which my brother mentioned yesterday. Um, the sub, like, Mystic Mountain deal where you're the dude in the hat and the fucking who looks like some sort of detective from the 20s catching shit in a net and giving it to some evil guy to progress up a mountain. That was them too. Um, they were not a sustainable business model being into edutainment games. Uh, so they took Oregon Trail and throttled the life out of it. Uh, so every edition after Oregon Trail 2 uh, they infused it with money, and 3rd edition is apparently okay. And then 4th edition is terrible, and 5th edition is worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> to give you an idea of what we're in for here, um, 
Oregon Trail 4th Edition and 3rd Edition are on three CDs. There's enough content, enough data to do three CDs. 5th Edition is on one CD. And, um, they never... It doesn't even fill that CD. Did they do a new release at some point? Uh, no. That was, um, that was Gameloft. Uh, Gameloft did a new Oregon Trail, and it's actually also quite good. I did mention that when it came out. Uh, I wanted to play that one at some point, uh, but it has not... I don't even know if I added it to my list, but I do want to play that one. It actually, it's more, more gamey. More of a video game than it is, like, a historic learning tool. Um, but yeah, that was made by Gameloft. It is not the same. Um, I wouldn't even classify it so much as a, like, sequel to these Oregon Trail games. It's more of a, a reimagining of what an Oregon Trail would be if it came out as an indie game today. Because there's, like, each person has, like, special abilities and, like, there's, like, weekly rewards. I don't, it might have a battle pass. I don't remember. I think there's also microtransactions in it. I, I don't remember exactly. But, uh... Yeah, so that was that was the reason that came out in 2022. But that was not the learning company. Um, so anyway, we're going to start with um, I'm, I'm going to turn this loop off. This loop is not from. Th that's actually from Oregon Trail 2. Uh, we're going to start with fifth edition because uh, fifth edition is the worst and will be here the shortest amount of time because <laughs> I don't know how well it's going to work. Um, Let's have it. Hi, Mibs. How are you today? Are you are you ready? Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. You don't even know what's coming. You missed the whole intro. Are you prepared? Hold on to your moves. Because we're. I don't know why they're not all work. Why they're not working? F. So anyway, oh god, I sorry I didn't that didn't happen last time I clicked off of it. Well, that's weird. Anyway, let me check on this this first. Hang on, you just saw the learning company. Why is this not working? Can you try a different egg worked? Why isn't commands working? Commands should have. Stars! Can't do it! Yeah, Not today! Why is that not working? I don't know. I don't... I don't... I don't understand. Because, like... Let me put that... Here's, here's all the commands you can use for it. They're all there. I don't know why I can't show the whole window. Like, it doesn't really matter. Like, oh, look at this. It's twitched up. So... Why does everything work with that? Is my... No, my bot's here. Do other... Do other chatbot things not work? Okay. Oh, no, there we go. Maybe it's too long. Let me try something. Hang on. Let me let me edit this real quick. Uh, it could be too long of a message. It's not even in alphabetical order anymore. Whatever, that's okay. Cut that out. And then we'll do... Sorry, this is just a little maintenance thing I've got to do real quick. And then we'll get into what I'm doing. Yeah. Also, hi, Amanda. I don't know if I said that or not. There we go. Now we can do com. There we go. Yeah, it was just too long. I have too many sound commands. <laughs> anyway. 
All right, let's ruin my resolution again and not click off of it. We are crashing this game. Look. There we <laughs> Those of you who have the will to taste this flan, follow me. The rest of you, get out of my kitchen. Let me try that again. Uh, anyway, this will be full screen now. Oh, no, click on OBS. Oh, God. Whoa. Uh, uh, okay. Welcome to the Circus of Value! Oregon jump scares. Do that. Ta-da. Oh, move my chat thing. Okay, that's fine. I can still see it. Anyway, uh, welcome to the learning company. <laughs> Thursday, April 6, 1848. We arrived in Independence by steamboat. <laughs> We're on our way out west to meet our pa in Oregon. There she goes, back to St. Louis. So the There's learning no company back now. Yippee! Added a Let's story. Get a wagon and get started. Oh, Jimmy, Parker, are you sure? And slash the budget. It's 2,000 miles to where Pa is, through deserts and mountains. Yep, and rivers and valleys. Oh my god, his eyes. Yeah, and buffaloes and coyotes. And mountain lions. And this is actually not the worst animation I've ever seen. And brothers. I'm just as brave as you think you are, but this is no joke. Quit worrying, Cassie. Pa sent a mountain man to guide us. And we've got to find him. These Come kids on. are going to die. Next Maybe. Up, the Oregon Trail. <laughs> Giving church basement. Oh, hey, I can name you. This didn't- this didn't happen to me before. Uh, we're gonna- we're gonna be- we're gonna be an adventurer. Uh, but I'm gonna be a doctor. We're gonna leave in April. All this sounds fine. Alright! Got enough for all of you. Here, F. Here, F, you want to be 45? <laughs> this is such a loud game. I need to turn this down, but I can't click off of it. Uh, here, you can be 25. Gleam, you can be the crotchety old man. We'll make you, we'll make you 50. Uh, Moobs, you're the, you, you're the edgy teen. Um, you're 14. Uh, and Manda, you can be five years old. <laughs> this speaks to me. <laughs> Die by smallpox, not dysentery. Okay, we'll, we'll see. Okay, so this music track, I hope you fucking like it. Uh, anyway, yeah. The large farm wagon, we're, we're leaving. Uh, you wanna close that? Close, close to... Uh, wah! You got a rough trip ahead of you, partner. But Oregon you jump scares! Did you hear that these Montgomery children made it all the way to Oregon City? Their story might be of help to you. April 6, 1848, when Pa broke his leg and couldn't come back from Oregon to fetch us, Ma gathered us close and said it was her dream to join Pa in Oregon. She believed that we had the gumption to get there with the help of this man, <laughs> Jed Friedman, that Pa was sending to guide us. Then, Ma died. <laughs> Cassie Parker, come on! That mountain man Paul wrote us about. Oh, he's gonna die already. Looks like you're in a big hurry, son. Your hat just got murdered. Oh, thank you so much. We're uh looking for somebody to get you to Oregon, right? That's right. How did you know? We're looking for a man named Captain Jed Friedman. Do you know him? Mm-hmm, sure do. Do you work for him? <laughs> that I do, son. 
day and night. Well then, take us to him. You're already there, Parker. Hey, how do you know my name? Parker, he's Jed. You? But you're... One of your pa's best friends. But you're black! I saved oh my god! <laughs> tail, he saved mine. When he broke his can't leg, believe they did that. I promised him I'd get you over <laughs> Can you hunt buffaloes and kill rattlesnakes? <laughs> Why, sure, I don't need to. Wow. Well, uh, Mr. Friedman? Captain Jed. Uh, Captain Jed. Oh, God. I guess if Pa sent you, that's good enough for us. Then I can't believe they just did that. There's a long way to go, and your Pa's are waiting. <laughs> just but you are, and they just cut him off. <laughs> At least they acknowledge that racism existed. Awful sorry, I just about ran you over. I'm kind of dumbstruck. <laughs> I ain't never seen no place like this before. This face, perfect. Did someone make this? A so they never updated the assets from Oregon Trail Two. So this asset is just a lady cut out of a photo from 1996 or something. <laughs> Uh, but they've removed all the animations. This is this is by far the worst version of Oregon Trail. <laughs> well, I'm just a farm girl, and I ain't been in no big town or city before in my life. I don't reckon I've ever seen so many people in one place in all my born days. And there's so much going on with all these folks getting ready to set out on the trail. Now, the other thing to mention about 5th edition here is that it's not like 4th edition at all. This is they basically went back to Oregon Trail 2 and added animated videos telling the story of these three children uh, and removed all the fun. That's it. There's some like quality of life. It might maybe be more like 3rd edition, but I actually didn't get a chance to try 3rd edition. Uh, it works. It runs. I just never got a chance to actually like test it and play it. Um, pardon? <laughs> we'll say that again. You might want to do like most of these folks and stock up on supplies, if and you haven't already. And find yourself a good-sized wagon train. That's what I've done. Well, so long and best of luck to you. Also, this music track... I want to... I want to die. This music track, this is the only music in the game. Merchants here in town offer basic packages of supplies based on the size of one's party and estimated length of journey. Of course, you can shop around on your own. Howdy, stranger. The Guitar Barrel looks Man. looks like you're fixing to head out west, too. Fine opportunity for people with the gumption to do it. All right. Anyway, give me a gun. I demand a gun. Two rifles and a shotgun. And five five boxes of more boxes. Thirty-five boxes of bullets. I swear to god if I don't leave with grandfather clocks. Can I make my own bullets? Is that what they're doing with this stuff? Sure, let's buy two kegs of gunpowder and two sacks of shot. Whatever. I don't know what I need. I need guns. I, obviously, this is America. <laughs> Just the loop! Um... What is what is saleratus? Six bottles of brandy. Five. No, no, we 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 like garlic on this wagon. All right. Sorry, I didn't mean to just stop at food. Medicines. Sunburn. Sure. 
alum. I don't know what that's used for. Ammonia, sounds good to me. Borax, you gotta clean your insides. Six bottles of brandy. I don't know what that is. Chamomile, put those fucking kids to sleep. All of them. Camphor? Uh, sure, whatever that is for. <laughs> I, I have that picture saved somewhere in this computer moods of the guy going with 12, like all the grandfather clocks and a hat. I have that picture. I don't know where. <laughs> Maybe I'll look for it when we're done. Castor oil, gotta puke. I don't know what dandelions for. What's that? I don't know. Sure, Dover's powder. Sounds good to me. This is why I love having so much money. <laughs> Duffy's elixir? Yeah, Duffy sounds nice. Epsom salts if I bathe, I guess. Gotta clean my ears. Iodine. Absolutely need iodine. Why not? Ipcac. I don't know what I'm bought. Fever powder? Sure. Laud them. For grandpa. Magnesia? Sure. Olive oil? As a medicine? Sure. I don't know. So, yeah, so does castor oil. Quinine for the malaria, yeah. Sarsaparilla and sassafras. Sulfur in case we need to like gas somebody. Turpentine in case we run out of brandy. Two gallon jugs of whiskey. We're gonna party. Witch hazel for ringworm. All right, what else? What else besides? Just 23 jars of grease. I don't know how much my thinking. <laughs> I don't know how much my thinking hold. Uh, nah, we don't need soap. We'll take some tobacco, sure. For trading purposes. Maybe I should have just bought one of those packages. We're just gonna buy a, a little bit, because you don't need a lot of these spices. We got garlic with all we need, really. Salt! That's actually very important. Maybe maybe not 950 pounds of it. Tools. Thermometers. Two of them. Wagon parts. Alright, you don't do that. Alright, bye. Uh... needs clothing? We're all gonna die. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm... <laughs> this is absolutely just gonna... This music is gonna live in my head forever. Wait, how many people are coming with us? Five? Sure, six of these, six of these, six of these. We're gonna have some... Or six dresses, six hats. Why does it go 5, 10? 10 pairs of long underwear. 30 yards of mending pools? Sure. Pairs of mittens. Six. 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 Six shirts. Six pairs of shoes. Six skirts. Six pairs of... Probably need more than that. 12 pairs of socks. Everyone gets two. <laughs> two umbrellas. Six winter coats, six winter scars. Purchase. Per there we go. We're really outfitting ourselves. Uh, we're gonna want oxen for sure. Get four of them. Uh, thick spare harnesses, four yokes. Um, let's. Get two horses? Sure. I don't really want to deal with animals on here for now. I don't know if that makes a difference. Five sacks of oaks, two pack saddles, two saddle blankets, and we'll get five spare horseshoes purchase. There we go. We're fucked. Alright, I don't need 
food from you, do I? I don't think I have any food, do I? <laughs> I thought I bought food from the other guy. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, not a lot. All right, we need uh, so many pounds of bacon. 100 pounds of bacon. <laughs> Where are the beans? There's coffee beans. Dried beans. 10 10 pound sacks of dried beans. You go with my bacon. And then 10 pounds of butter. Get some cheese in there too. 10 pounds of cheese. We'll take some coffee, I guess. Cornmeal's okay. Crackers are okay. Dried bread. As opposed to what? Wet bread? Or does it mean like hardtack? Oh, Ships biscuits, which is my favorite way to say it. You're five, you're five, I need candy. Fine. Five pounds of candy for the five year old. <laughs> Dried vegetables, we'll do 15 pounds. We'll do 20 pounds of flour. Molasses is a very important thing. Pemmican! Can't have too much pemmican. Six barrels of pickles. Ten sacks of potatoes. We're gonna run out. We're, like, we're not gonna have enough for like moving around. Salt pork, also important. 25 pounds of it. Purchase. Alright. Why did the music change? Okay, you're... What am I... I? I need something. Furniture. No one ever... One butter churn. I can only buy two grandfather clocks? And a rocking chair for grandpa. And my wagon load is too heavy or you don't have enough draft animals. Change that to meager. 10 hours a day. Uh, what is my <laughs> 4,000 pounds of shit? <laughs> um, what is the max I can have? Or do I just need more animals for it? This music makes no sense. Okay, okay, here, I made a mistake. I'm gonna buy two more oxen from you, and um, we're gonna buy 10 mules. That enough? Hooray! <laughs> 87 oxen to do the trick. 46 wagons and 167 people, absolutely. Continue. River appears to be frozen. Ma'am, do you know anything about this? This riverbank makes for a good rest in place. Let's rest here a time before crossing. You don't know what you're talking about. Look for someone else. Who are you? This is good and solid. Let's cross over the ice. Yeah, you're wearing glasses. That means you're smart. Cross on the ice. All 4,000 pounds of me. <laughs> Don't need this shit, let's go. Oh. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Story time. Captain Jed, how did the Oregon Trail get started? Were you the first one to go on it? <laughs> no, Jimmy, I ain't quite that old. Sliding out into the ocean. There lots of folks before me. <laughs> I guess it really started about 1821 with the Santa Fe Trail. That year, a red-headed Virginian named William Becknell started taking trade goods from Missouri to the town of Santa Fe. Missouri. That's down south of here in Mexico territory, west of Texas. 
traders could get flour, salt, horses, and mules. I gotta be honest, this guy's voice performance is actually pretty good. Going back and forth from Mexico to Missouri. That was until the war started in Mexico in 1846. They're just telling him that he doesn't have a soul, okay? Santa Fe Trail was the town of Franklin, Missouri, on the north bank of the Missouri River. That's so boats could bring the trade goods, I betcha. Right you are, Parker. But by the early 30s, the steamboats could go further upriver. So they needed another starting point that was further west. And that's how the town of Independence got going. Hey, we came to Independence on a steamboat from St. Louis. Mm-hmm, you sure did. Tell us about traveling to Oregon That's St. Louis, well, Parker? Now, in 1836, the Get Williams, it right? Dr. Marcus and his it was wife French. And friends drove the first wagon to Oregon. <laughs> They set up a mission north on the Columbia River. A couple of real brave women were in that group, Narcissa Whitman and Eliza Spaulding. More folks started traveling the Oregon Trail after that. I led my first wagon train in 43, the one with your pa in it. We even met the Whitmans when we stopped at their mission. Did pa meet him too? Yep, and it won't be long till you'll be meeting your pa again. Now you better get some sleep. We got I have day no idea no, if it's me or not, because I actually can't I see the stats. Of them. Um, and if I click off of it, it'll really fuck it for me, so. <laughs> New Santa Fe. Continue, we don't got, we got shit to do. We got 2,000 miles to cover. I don't know what Blue Mound is. This fog better fucking stop. <laughs> uh, three and a half feet. 600 feet. Fairly ordinary river. Ford the river! <gasps> My grandfather clocks! It's only three and a half feet. I don't know what I lost, so. How, how are my, oh God. Sorry, I meant, nope, not a diary, not a guide. How do I check if, I, how's everyone doing? Okay. Manda's okay, Glean's okay. We're doing fine. How are we doing on food? We've already gone through 25 pounds of bacon. So I was lied to. I was told there was only one music track that played the entire time, but this is different. We need more bacon. This is extremely loud and horrible sounds. <laughs> Just... Onions! Heck yeah! Purchase. All right, bye. Easy, easy, ford the river. I ain't scared of no river. Heck yeah, onions. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's the way it's... <laughs> I heard you found a rock here at Alcove engraved with the name of J.F. Reed, May 26, 1846. Did you know him? Well, not exactly. I heard of him though. He and his family were heading to California with the Donna party. They I appreciate that they like the only animated the mouse and ended up in a heap of trouble. In the occasional the blink. Party. I heard that name at the campfire last night. What happened? The way I heard it, the Donnas and several other families left Independence in April 1846 <laughs> with 20 wagons and near 100 folks. You should have seen one of their wagons, a double decker with a side entrance. It had spring seats, a sheet iron stove, and a whole library of books. Some folks called it the Pioneer Palace. Rain and floods kept them an extra five days at the Big Blue. Then, when they got to Fort Bridger, Instead of playing it safe and heading to Fort Hall, some of them took the Hastings cutoff. Why'd they do that? Hastings guidebook claimed it would save them time in about 300 miles. But 
Crossing the Wasatch Mountains was slow. Took 18 days to get 30 miles. Had to ditch that big old Pioneer Palace in the Salt Lake Desert. By the time they got to the Sierra Nevada Mountains of California, it was October, and they got caught in an early snowfall. They must have been plum tired and starving. That's right. Plum tired. And freezing, too. <laughs> it was pioneers. the worst winter you could imagine. They did things to keep alive. That man's gonna shoot that guy. They talk about. Yeah, I heard but somebody say we're that. We're watching a murder. Are they gonna shoot the horse and eat Some it? Some snowshoot out in December, but by the time the relief party is brought the rest out in April of '47, you can't even see my mouse cursor, unfortunately. But half died. That's sorrowful. So that means sorrowful. we've got to take the right trails and get to Oregon for the snowfalls, right, Captain Jed? Right, you are, son. It's life and death out here. <laughs> They're executing someone for stealing food. Alright, how are we doing? You know what? Let's rest here for a day. Alright, let's go. Give me the people at the river. I got 164 wagons here. No, three feet kicked my ass last time. But... Remember me prove a little tricky? What if we wait an extra day? Prove a little tricky? What if I wait a day? Wait my turn. A little tricky. Ford the river! I ain't scared of nothing! Oh. Two boxes of bullets. One, one pet. We lost the licorice! And various other items. Okay, okay. I think it's time to hunt. No need gunpowder? Where'd my gunpowder go? I guess I lost that when one of my wagons flipped. Okay, so what about fishing? Oh. Wild onion. Keep it. What is this? Look at it. What are you? Are you poisonous? Heck yeah, keep it. And you look like berries. Why are they why are they black and red res red berries? Why is that how raspberries grow? I think we got pretty lucky, yeah. Hooray! Just pounds of it. Uh West is where we wanna go. <laughs> Not the liquor. We passed through the narrows today. The trail follows a very narrow path between the little blue river on the left and steep bluffs on the right. We'd circle the wagons and I was fixing something. That is the most the animation they've ever had. Hey, that almost smells good. Oh well, sakes alive. Go wash up. It's almost ready. <laughs> Probably wandered off with the journal, drawing things like he always does. That Jimmy. He's hankering to show Pa his <laughs> sketches when we get to Oregon. Jimmy! Over here! I found a snake! Jimmy! Uh, Eat it! Uh, oh. Last still. Jed's coming. Cassie, it hurts! Jimmy's dead. Hurry, no time to lose. Quick, Here, cut his leg off. My belt. Tie it on, Parker. Not too tight now. What's he doing? Not too tight. Rip no, you want it tight. Jimmy, Jed's got to open the bite and suck out the poison. Ah, uh, Jimmy will make it. Won't he, Jed? I reckon he'll need to ride in the wagon for a spell. But he'll pull through all right. Also, that doesn't oh, work. Thank you, Jed. But it was close. Too close. I drew the snake for it bit me. You want to see it? <laughs> fuck off. Jimmy, what the fuck? <laughs> oh no. Manda has a cold. Give administer olive oil to the baby. <laughs> shit together, man. Amanda hasn't seen the G.I. Joe PSAs? Wow. Fort Kearney, visit the fort. Absolutely. Welcome, folks. 
pleased to meet you. Sorry, no, I we can't boast much. Howdy do, neighbor. Are you in need of my services? You won't find a blacksmith when much I'm better with me. my current batch of repairs. I'll be pleased to help you. Are you for one horse? I don't want to give you a horse. Do you have any gunpowder? I need to shoot some things. No? Okay. Well, I don't, I don't need your services. You folks looking to do some trading? This is an outfit. Like... I know girls at Sheridan that dress like this. <laughs> Looks like as good a place as any to leave. Excuse me, sir. Do you have any gunpowder? No. Oh, hey, you have bridles. Sure, why not? I just need gunpowder. Supplies! Gunpowder! Fuck you! <laughs> We've only gone through two gallons of whiskey. This music is really killing on me. They tell me someone in this wagon train is looking for a doctor. Is that true? Well, to be honest with you, I haven't been in regular practice for a number of years. No! Don't go! Next time you get next time you get next time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. We're never getting gunpowder. Manda's poor. Turn for the worse. Increase fluid intake. Give that baby more water. Maybe, maybe we can slow down too. Here, we'll we'll give more food and we'll slow down. Rest here for five days. Hey, we're doing okay now. Back we go. Whiskey for the baby. <laughs> One, one and a half feet. Or the river, it's fine. <laughs> God damn it. Oh no, our other pound of licorice. a lot of things. <laughs> Stop knocking the goddamn wagon over. I'm sorry. <laughs> Amanda, I'm just teaching you how to swim, okay? I'm just throwing you into the ocean and hoping for the best. Your natural swim response will kick in. Search for something. Didn't find anything useful. Okay. Gunpowder! What is this music? This is really grating. Jimmy Crack Corn? <laughs> what? Foxes and found the river, it might be. Gunpowder! 
15. Purchase. There we go. Continue. Hunting. Give my rifle. Boy. Yeah. Give me the meat. Who else is around? Nope. Somewhere else. The bear. Yeah. Fuck this bear. Grrr. All right. 327 pounds a game. Only carry 200 back. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. First. We're doing Today okay. I saw my first Indian. Several braves rode into our camp to trade. I was scared at first, but Captain Jed said we'd be fine if we traded fairly with them. When they were done, Jimmy and I went walking along the river. <gasps> More Indians! <gasps> Jimmy, look! The baby! <laughs> <laughs> like a cat stealing food it's not supposed to, just um. <laughs> Save the baby! Where do you learn to throw like that? I've been throwing rocks across the big blue while you were laid up with your snake bite. I'll keep this with Ma's necklace. Been training my throw arm. Beautiful. There's so many beads. I can't wait to show it to Pa. I don't think they drew any beads. Take the ferry. Oh, we're not gonna risk it. We got to make his baby spoke. This is so quick. What do you mean? Still doing okay. We're all. We're not even halfway done. Oh, the cutscenes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought this was showing me all the items this trading post had. We need more bacon. Eventually, I'll need to, like, can I sell things? No. I think I can with, like, normal townsfolk, but... Supposed to be recorded? I have no idea. Like, I don't know what that instrument was supposed to be. Alkali water. <laughs> what, the, what does that mean? I'm surprised we haven't had some sort of like wagon malfunction. Oh boy, I have some salts. Two feet. Ford the river! Be way extra for that now. Ford the river! Ford the river! I didn't check the conditions. I can't believe how lucky we are. <laughs> We just went backwards. Diphtheria? Manda's got diphtheria! Dover's powder. I guess it's gonna be bottle that stuff. That's.
turn for the worse! Increase your fluid intake. Amanda died. <laughs> well, diphtheria got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Board the river! <laughs> Fuck off! It's not my fault! You're a baby! I tried! You died really fast, though. <laughs> Here ever heard of Repairing Amanda sorry about the dip. Is he a travel friend of yours? <laughs> He's a lot more than that, I'll tell you. If you roam the Rocky Mountains trapping like me, you might run into some great mountain men. Joe Meek, Jim Beckworth, Joe Walker, or Major Moses Black Harris. But old Gabe really stands out. Tall, strong, with long hair and a hooked nose. Named after the angel Gabriel he was knows every inch of this land and the rivers too. Some folks say he was the first white man to see the Great Salt Lake. Thought it was the ocean it was so salty. Whole damn. There really is a salt lake out here? Never seen it, but I heard it's there. Now most Indians respect old Gabe for his toughness and bravery. <laughs> so serious, he even married man. an Indian woman from Flatheads. But Gabe's got his enemies though. I heard Dr. Whitman once had to take an arrow out of his back. Captain Jack, is he still alive? I believe so, but he's had many a close call. One day, old Gabe and a group of trapper friends came across large grizzly tracks in front of a mountain cave. They were so hungry that one of the trappers suggested that somebody go in the cave and drive the bear out so they could have a real meal. So old Gabe volunteered to go in that cave and send that old Grizz out. He must have been crazy. Don't know about that, but I do know he walked right in that cave and struck the bear with his whipping stick. His that whipping really stick? made a run for the opening, but then turned right around and headed straight for Gabe. It was dark in <laughs> his the cave whipping stick, not though. easy to see, but old Gabe was ready for him. Trappers outside heard a shot, and sure enough, they had bear for dinner that night. I want to meet old Gabe. You just may. He built a fort on the Oregon Trail. His real name is Bridger. Jim Bridger. I feel like if I was a history guy, that'd be like a big thing, but like... How are we doing for food? <gasps> we lost a rifle! Oh no, I'm glad I bought two. Hundred and fifty seven pounds of salted meat still. Okay. We're hunting again. Yeah. Fuck the chick monk too. Alright, that's probably all I can I can handle actually. Uh so we gotta go. Yeah. Almost like sixty eight pounds? Okay. Rest here for a day. Rest here for another day. Continue. Why is it- what is alkali water telling me? Like... Uh, I don't have fishing equipment. I didn't- I forgot fishing was here. Hey, anyway, we're gonna hunt again. Give me another bear. Show me the bear. Bad water though, yeah, I don't know how to fix that. That's probably how diphtheria happened. That's basic. <laughs> Really, there's no animals here at all? <gasps> Wait, there was a thing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where'd that... Oh, no, it's just changing everything. One little rabbit. Oh. 
Oh, I didn't actually reload. Okay. Continue! Bad mosquitoes! Keep going. Don't stay with the mosquitoes. Morale is now high. Bear Wagon Tongue! Hooray! Wah! Oh. This one guy just chugging his drink. Fort Hall is just a ways up the trail, along the Snake River. Have you ever been there, Captain Jed? Many times. Been coming to this spot for years. Way before old Nathaniel Wyeth even built a fort here. Yep. Brings to mind the very first rendezvous. Of course, we called them Rondes back in 1825. Of course, we, we called them Rondes. At the junction <laughs> of Fucking King's what? Fort <laughs> and the Green River. Beaver was a plenty, prices high, and no one much bothered us at all. It was Ashley's idea. He didn't want to have to travel so far to trade. One year, he lost a keelboat sank with ten thousand dollars worth of furs and supplies <laughs> next year he had trouble with the arikara indians so he spread the word about a central meeting place to trade and called it a rendezvous that's french you know trappers came from all over indians too you bet we traded with the indians for furs blankets and other supplies many a trapper even traded for an indian wife really that's right cassie Oh I was God. once married to a Shoshone Indian, but that's another tale. The Rondi and Sorry, you were once married? was held around July 4th. You never heard What'd such you do to her, Jeb? Guns are fine. What happened to your Indian wife? Gambling, sharpshooting contests, wrestling, and I'd say many a patriotic toast. Wish I could have been there. Uh, but those days are gone now. Last Rondi I heard of was in 1840. I miss meeting with trapper friends, old Jed Smith, Grizzly Adams and his trained bear, and of course, Moses Black Harris, best yarn spinner I ever heard. With more and more folks heading west and needing expert guides, seemed the perfect fit for us trappers. So you became a captain and led our paw out west. Sure did. Best decision I ever made. Great man, your paw. The prime opportunity to get smallpox trading for blankets, right? I'm sorry you died of diphtheria. I didn't really have much control over that. Oh, we're taking the ferry. I wonder if the ferry can fail. Hunt again! I need more... more meat. Oh. Oh, there was something that just came up on that screen. I like that it's the dead silence of hunting. <gasps> I don't know what you are, but... Yeah, fuck that crowd. <laughs> I love how perfectly accurate this is. Yeah, you click on it. I... Forgot that it doesn't show my mouse cursor. <gasps> no! <laughs> I just waddle. Yeah. Uh, there's like a little cursor that I, I click on them and stuff. It's just really just. It's like Duck Hunt. Bear. There we go. A larger bear. All right, we're good. Church butt. Ooh ha! Best here day. How are we doing? <laughs> good, 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 good. Dead. <laughs> Name rock. 
story time again. They ricochet up the wildlife, right? Trail splits just up ahead for those going to California. I got a feeling a lot of folks will be heading that way soon. How come, Captain it's Dead? I heard a rumor rack? about Laramie what? about someone finding a river of gold nuggets in California. Is that why? Shh, Parker. Not so loud. Seems that in January oh. this year, maybe. 1848, I, the the game is not that complicated. But Marshall did it's just a miss. Some yeah. Gold nuggets just lying out in plain sight in the American River. Wow. He was partners with a man named John Sutter, was building a sawmill in California. Well, old man Sutter knew what would happen if word about the gold got out, so he tried to keep everything quiet. They found gold just lying in a stream? Seems awful hard to keep something like that a secret. Yep. Seems a newspaper man, Sam Brennan, got wind of it. And you know what that means. I love how this guy knows like everyone's name. Wildfire. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Well, I don't know for He's sure. A history book, but literally. It's pretty easy to guess. There's gonna be a lot more folks heading west, I tell you. They'll be coming from all over and in all kinds of ways. By Where's that man's neck? Mostly. Hmm, do you think they could ever build a railroad across these mountains? Don't know much about <laughs> railroads, but I'd say some people <laughs> do just about anything for gold. It kind of makes them crazy, you know? There's going to be a lot of changes out west. You folks are just the beginning. Do you think they'll ever build a railroad? It's Jimmy Crack Corn again. <laughs> we've gone through all of our six. Oh, we've gone through two bottles of brandy. Fishing pole. All right, we'll do that. I don't know how we were drinking coffee without like a kettle or something. Is it right to make money? Yes. And the way you do that is you talk to people and you can barter with them and sometimes they'll barter for money. No fruit. Oh, no. Uh, we're 
together again. So can we eat like potatoes? <laughs> Five feet. I don't think I can afford a five. Yeah. Cock the wagons and float. Cock them. Right into that rock. Perfect. Well. Moves died. <laughs> Internal injuries. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I guess the rock. We just hit you with the rock. <laughs> Brain ankle. Look. <laughs> this guy's pose. <laughs> it's just so loud. It's got <laughs> Oh god, yeah. Um Buy a blanket. Buy some more butter. Buy some more cheese. Um, 25 sacks of flour. We still have the rifle, that's good. Take the pot. 25 pounds of pemmican. No fruit and no vegetables. I have to keep gathering for shit. Give me something to shoot. Can we flip the wagon like seven times in a row? They don't even care that I'm shooting them, jeez. Probably shoot one more big thing. Perfect. Animal bite! I've been bit by a mountain lion! This really has taken a turn! <laughs> We're gonna rest here. Bleeding, discoloration, pain, oh god.
13 dollars? No. No fruit, no vegetables. All right, well, we gotta gather. Keep it. Keep it. How much can I gather, I wonder? It. I think this one was, uh, was, yeah. And this one was, yeah, keep it, done. Hooray, all right, we're doing okay for that. Salt the wound, yeah. I wanted, I, antiseptic was good, but rest for a couple more days. All right, continue. Cape was attacked by a mountain lion. Keep it. Looks like parsnips. Eat them like potatoes. And lions are fine. Done. Cool. Gather. Keep it. Red currants. Perfect. That's, that's just like grass to me. I, I have to do this to keep up our stuff. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to keep it. There we go. Asparagus. Keep it. I, like, I recognize some of the pictures, but I still want to check every time. Broken wagon wheel. Glad I bought more. More gathering. Milkweed. Keep it. Keep it. And this was poisonous. Yeah. I just had I had to keep doing it because we're keeping eating things. Ass progress. <laughs> <laughs> A dandelion! The last of the season. That's such a good TikTok. Keep it done. Okay. Visit the fort. Howdy. I'm one of the regulars here at the fort. I'm here for the adventure and the I steady pay. Don't actually carry you. I need fruit and vegetables. Celery. Five pounds of it. You have dried fruit? It's doing okay. Oh, I'm okay now. Oh. <laughs> That's what I said, like dried bread, like as opposed to what, wet bread? I think they meant like, um, like hardtack. My potatoes. Eat like lettuce and spinach to keep. Done. Okay. Um, how am I actually doing on like food? 371 pounds of salted meat. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we see vegetables and fruit and stuff. Bad mosquitoes. Keep going. 
animal's exhausted. All right, so we'll, we'll rest for a couple days. Raft River. Raft River and there's no ferry? No! God damn it. Rivers are annoying. <laughs> I don't even hear the music anymore. Like, that's just how droning it's been in my head. See, what I want to know is like, what has the highest chance of success here? Mostly what I don't know. One and a half, 16 feet for the river. If we fail this, this is bigger than 16 feet. <laughs> Captain Jed, did you ever have a scruff with the Indians? A few close calls. Tell us about them, will you? And for Haddis, What are scruff? Indians really like? First thing you need to know, Jimmy, is that no two people are alike. You've met folks on the trail from Mexico and Ireland. They speak different languages, have different customs, and, well, that goes for Indians, too. Folks traveling with us are afeard of them. Why aren't you scared? Trapping, I learned a lot from the Arapaho, Blackfoot, Shoshone, Cheyenne, and Sioux. They're all skilled horsemen and hunters. They live in teepees and move with the buffalo herds. Watching them hunt buffalo, now that was something. They'd set fire to the grass and then drive those critters is, right is, off a cliff. Is Parker going to have a character arc where he stops being racist? Go to waste. Favorite parts were the tongues and livers. Ew! Then there's the Arikara, Pawnee, and Mandan. They spend no child in the buffalo. 1700s the would say ew to that. Growing crops. The I don't think so. Nine different <laughs> types of corn. Tar Nation. They're farmers just like Pa. That's right. Tar Nation. Indian villages I've seen aren't just teepees. They have homes made of reeds and woven mats, earth, or logs. Once, I traveled south and ran into some Hopi Indians. Lived for a spell in a Pueblo. That's a house made of mud and rocks. Six alive, Captain Jed. The Whitmans were killed by the Cayuse Indians last year. Weren't you ever scared of Indians? I met Dr. Marcus Whitman and his wife. Good folk they were. The Cayuse I... Indian blamed them for about a measles killing their people. Indians want to protect their own just like we do. And if you let them be, they'll do the same for you. They're not all that different from us. You played one of their games back at Fort Laramie. Hoop and Paul! Will you teach us more, Captain Jed? Better Hoop yet, and Paul. let them teach you more. Folks shouldn't be so afraid of them. They've lived on this land for hundreds of years. There's a lot we can learn from each other. God, <laughs> so much water noise. Is there a map? Where am I? I just want to know where I am exactly. Money? Okay. We believe our fruit, I think. Black Nightshade. God, I 
hate rivers. <laughs> My family is going to the big valley in the west, where there is so much good land. That is clearly not your natural accent. We are from St. Petersburg. We have many <laughs> great mountains in Russia, but not near where we live. I have never seen such mountains as the ones here in America. At the next hills or mountains we come to, we will share with another wagon to do what they call double teaming animals. Maybe that will work well for you. You don't sound so confident. Okay, bye. Four feet. He's like, holy shit, your country is huge, yeah. <laughs> Board the river! Oh, hey, that actually was kind of helpful. How are we doing? Okay. Hot springs? Heck yeah. All right. <gasps> it has a cold! Vinegar! We'll turn that up. Rest here for a bit. Don't die yet. Don't die. You're fair, okay. <laughs> Look, I don't know what's gonna work. Culture or mystery. Exhausted. Okay, we'll, we'll rest. Back to 10 hours a day, meager. How are we on food? 187 pounds of salted meat. Okay, we're, we're, we're running low on a variety of food, but um, we're doing okay. Fairies are smelly, but edible. <laughs> That's about what the humor is. <laughs> Bleed him and pack their foods with salt. Excuse it. I don't know the name of the song. Expensive than I have money for. Okay. Purchase a wagon wheel. How's doing, friends? I'm a you must belong about to that. these parts. I, I hire myself for a day or two and restock.
Okay, bye music. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> a first <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not here now. <laughs> that's not even the tune of the song, but it fucking works, and I hate you. <laughs> Dried fruit. I'm not giving you an ox for that. I'm not giving you my shoes. I don't know if I have that. Sure. All right. Board the river! Damn it! <laughs> Board the river! <laughs> That's very not ee. <laughs> Ball and rocks. Another path. Unable to find another path. Okay. <laughs> Wait for conditions to improve. I love that. Clear path. Oh, okay. Another group cleared the path. Hooray! Get it in cold, actually. I don't know if I've got um cold weather gear. Flagstaff Hill. Where am I? He <laughs> waited for the rock to through, and they did. I mean, I don't know if I, I... No, I probably lost a whole bunch of it flipping my wagon. I have one blouse, one pair of shoe boots, one dress, four hats, one pair of long underwear, two pairs of pants, two shirts, one pair of shoes. Okay, I have two winter coats and one scarf. I mean, I got two people that are dead, so I really only need four of them. How are we doing on food? Low on meat, I guess. Do some gathering. <laughs> Having the... The chat not ignore my bot makes <laughs> it really. It's like you see how that happened. Like, what the fuck? My friends need to be punished. Board the river. I don't think that played. Splish! That worked. Okay, well, weird shit going on. A map! Okay, I'm almost there. Saturday, October 21st. We're in mountain country now. Taking the wagons up the hills is really hard, but it's even more dangerous taking them down. Okay, men, the ropes are set. Parker, you go on the far side there and try to keep her from tipping over. Right, Captain Jed. Be careful, son. Let's go. Easy does it. Look out! No, we can't lose the wagon. Uh, get a rope, get a rope. You heard what he said, hurry. That's it, we got it. 
I think it would have been better for the story if Parker died, but right, I think this is based yeah. on real events. I'm okay. <laughs> that was mighty brave, son. I, I couldn't let her go. That wagon has everything we own. All that we've got left of Ma. Her pictures and her wedding dress. Your pa would have been real proud of you. Thanks, Captain Jed. Thanks. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Get your phrenology out of here, Em. <laughs> Walla Walla! <laughs> that's all that's all Check the ruins. Got a raincoat and an axe! Okay. Um. I wish I could sell things. Surprised we haven't lost an axle, but I'm gonna buy one for all these hills. Okay. Um, probably the hunt at this point, right? We're 80 pounds? Okay. Taking a shortcut. Animals exhausted. Stop and rest a while. Two days. Hello. 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 Winter clothes. Don't have the money for that. <laughs> the mule died. Put your animal for me. Timothy the mule. Continue. Ford the river. No. <laughs> Clean up the mess. Double teaming. Continue. Get the wagon up right. Double team it. No. Glebus cuts and abrasions. No, the old man. Double teaming. Continue. Pay someone to rat you. Uh, seize around. Hang on. We don't Talk have you. enough money for the toll road. Take the toll road. I don't care if it I've heard the Barlow toll road is no picnic. Sure, you can have my horses for 90 bucks. Sorry, but I died, so we're done. <laughs> uh, man, okay. Sorry, that's gotta... I don't know why it went away. Bring it back. Holy shit, okay. Nope. Close that window. Um... All right, well, we're back. <laughs> and then we're gone again. I wasn't expecting to go back to full screen. Hang on, hang on. Things are going wrong. There we go. But that's it. So I can quit this stupid game. <sighs> so anyway, that's Oregon Trail 5th Edition. Um, It's not good. I'm sorry, I got us. Hey, look, this shouldn't be over here. Luckily, the resolution change doesn't actually do a whole lot for me. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to be right back real quick. We, we're not done. We, we, we still have fourth edition. Uh, fourth edition, <laughs> Snake's Life Cat and Black Man. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I'm I think she was saying six alive, and I don't know what that means. Like I have no idea what that means. Where is Oregon Trail? Computer. End Oregon Trail. Thank you. There we go. All right. Is it snakes? Snakes alive? I don't know. Sex alive could be it too. Yeah. Like for heaven's sake, snakes. Is that what they're saying? Okay. Sure. That makes that makes way more sense. All right. So I need to be right back. But I need to move this out of the way. Uh, this is going to be mild nostalgia for everyone. Um, I think I do need to. Wait, why is my scene thing like this? OBS. Hello? <gasps> I can't do anything with OBS right now. Um, but like chat still updates. What if I do? OK, that still works. Minimize it, bring it back. There we go. It has maximized the window, so I can't actually see anything. Nope, nope. All right, it's gone again. Hang on. Minimize it. Move it. There we go. It maximized the window for some reason. Of that. There we go. Now I can do anything. Oh, nothing broke. Uh, I need to do this scene. Whoop, nope, it's not actually letting me do things. I, again, um, that scene. There we go. Now, close that. Nope. <laughs> I might need to restart the stream. Uh, anyway, I know my beer back screen. I'll be like five minutes. So. Think about what just happened. It's only going to get better from here. OK. If I can do anything, please. That looks so uncomfortable. Like that's going right up in there. I I don't know about that. I mean, spacesuits got to do what you got to do, but. Can you like, I don't know, avoid that? That just looks uncomfortable. I mean, it's it'd be different It because it, it's like that's got to be like seatbelt material, right? Because it's not like a, a soft, comfy fabric to have between your cheeks. That, that's just. That's just taking a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's so shiny too like he's got he's got a donk on him all right sorry sir <gasps> sorry my phone is having a moment uh carlos that looked problematic Um, uh, okay. I guess someone's dying. Nope. <laughs> it's me! I'm dying! I was like, why did the music pick up? I should be more careful, obviously. My, my wife. No, wait. What? <laughs> Sex. Oh, man. That's better than ass. <laughs> Alan. Shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. <laughs> there you go, Alan. Help me, please. Hartman. I fell. I. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Strike. Yeah, 
another advisor. Uh. Why is it staring at his crotch? You know why it's staring at his crotch. <laughs> Thank you, moves. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's another achievement to like hit people with an egg in this game too. And like kill them with the rotten egg. I fucking missed. <laughs> I mean not me. <laughs> like an enemy. Oh, an enemy. <laughs> Their, oh, right, because Hexstuff's not wearing your thing. Well, then justice take its rightful measure. You will know this day that you have suffered Harper. Oh, hey, look! It's the consequences of my actions! We found them! What is this? <laughs> Revue! What are you doing here? It is I, Jahir! Hmm, hmm, that accuracy, huh? Yeah, but mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. rankings mm -hmm. spill out ass, so I think it's better. <laughs> it's like, uh, who's the real winner here? <laughs> <laughs> but it was 69. It was so close to 69 percent. No. I the only reason I waited here rather than go in the hatch, I really wanted to know. Okay. Um, it still won't let me. Drop the display capture. I can't even like right click. Um, <laughs> can't do anything. What if I? Move it over. Do this thing. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so I can move that. I was hoping that like doing something like that would uh. You can have whatever problem it's having. Well, I need to restart OBS. I don't want to restart the stream, though. Uh, is there a hotkey for displaying? Um. A source in OBS. Is there a hotkey for that? Okay, I know we can do it for like specific scenes. But I can't go into settings right now. Can I hop? Oh, I can do that. Wait for it. No, I, I think OBS is uh is a little broken. Okay. Um We're gonna restart the stream. I'm gonna close OBS. Uh, because I cannot tolerate this, and I don't. There's not going to be a resolution change for the next, the next bits. So, uh, I will be right back. Again. <laughs>